I believe I am Charles and Camilla's son. I believe this has been a cover-up. A royal love charm? Yes. Words to send shivers down the spines of the British royal family. Simon Durante Day's 40 year search for his birth parents, leading him to the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall. There's no mistake? Well, it's possible. I mean, I've entered into all this uh, with the possibility that I could be wrong. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've thought about that and how am I going to look in front of the world with egg all over my face that I'm, I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. This story begins in April 1966. England is in the grip of Beatlemania, and in this military hospital in Gosport in southern England, the Royal Hospital Haslar, a baby boy is born, and a mystery begins. What age were you adopted out? Uh, 18 months, I'm told, uh, I was adopted out. Um, so where were you for the first 18 months? I, I don't know. There's not been any documentation or, or evidence come forward to, to state that. I, I don't even know if 18 months is true because that's what I've been told mainly through um, my adoptive family. Baby Simon was adopted by Karen and David Day, a well-known Portsmouth family. Karen worked as a hairdresser, David drove trucks. They had no royal connections, but others in the family did. My mother's grandparents um, worked for the royal family. Uh, Nana was a cook and uh, Dan was a gardener. That's where they met. Do you believe you were deliberately placed with that family because I, of the royal connection? I think that's a possibility and it's a, it's a fair comment to make. I, it's, in England they would say yeah, that's what the royals do. As he grew, Simon claims his grandparents dropped hints he was more than he believed, hints about his real parents, until near her death, when his grandmother Winifred dropped a bombshell. The last time uh, I saw her before she passed uh, was in the hospital in, in Portsmouth and there was a newspaper uh, on the bed uh, and it had a picture of Charles and Camilla on it and I said to her, is it these two? And I pointed to them and she said, yeah. But she confessed even more that day. And she said, we, we were always worried that we couldn't protect you, that at some stage the truth would get out. So that's as close as I've got to anybody else saying that, that uh, it is Charles and Camilla. Camilla would have been 18 at the time, the Prince of Wales just 17. Prince Charles was in fact sent to Australia in 1966 to Timbertop in Victoria. Camilla would have conceived me sometime in 1965 after a coming out um, ceremony or coming out... A debutant ball. Debutant ball. Um, she then promptly disappears off the social scene. Do you think you look like Camilla or Charles? Yeah, I, I could certainly, um, the Shan features are there. Camilla's brother, Mark Shan, looks strongly uh, like me. Simon says his adopted mother refused to talk about his real mum, whether she was royal or not, and his search for the truth has been difficult. I've still yet to see an original birth certificate. I have not seen any, all I've got is a, an adoption certificate. Who does the British government say your biological mother is? Uh, they say that there's a lady called Sandra Pender. But Simon never found a shred of evidence this woman even existed. If you're right, do you want to be king? At the moment, I'm still focusing on stage one of this, which is um, the DNA test. Uh, I, I see it's the only way that this will be resolved. I think legally it's out of the question for any court in Britain to order DNA samples to be taken from any member of the royal family on a legal basis. So it just won't happen. Foreign correspondent for the London Sun, Frank Thorne, believes Simon's quest is over before it begins. Simon's not the first person to claim to be an uh, illegitimate uh, member of the ro British royal family and I'm sure he won't be the last. Simon and his wife, Elviana, are determined to fight on. They've written to Prince Charles, but not received a reply yet. All he wants to do is find his real parents to end his 40-year search. The truth, is it or isn't it? If it's not, well, then I've got to move on and find out who it is. It's not the driving force for me. The driving force for me is my parents. I want to meet my parents, I mean, I, I, for obvious reasons.